name the modern day North American wildlife species that was almost hunted to extinction for its ivory tusks? Bet you can't the American elk. If you watch this video that I made last week, you'll know that in their evolutionary history, the ancestors of our cervids or deer didn't used to have antlers. They used to have these tusks. Well, there are occasionally white-tailed deer and even more rarely mule deer that will pop up with these atavistic tusks. There's only one North American deer species that really has tusks. It's a species that the rest of the world calls the wapiti and what we in North America call the elk. Both male and female elk grow these things that look like canine teeth that are commonly known as whistling teeth. They're also sometimes called eye teeth and they're also most commonly called ivories. Elk ivories are not teeth. They are tusks and they're made of the same ivory that elephant tusks are made of. Indigenous people have prized elk ivories for thousands of years but starting in the 1800s Europeans started to value elk ivories too. As I mentioned in this video elk's range used to spread across North America and by the late 1800s the range of the elk in North America have been reduced by more than 90%. There's a bunch of different reasons for it, including massive landscape level changes, over exploitation for meat as hunting at that time was largely unregulated. But in 1907, then President Theodore Roosevelt wrote a letter to Henry Melvin, who was the leader of the Benevolent Protective Order of Elks, what is commonly known as the Elks. At this time, there were poachers that were called tuskers, killing thousands and thousands of elk just for their tusks. And in that letter, what Teddy Roosevelt is saying is that the reason for the collapse of the American elk populations is because of the hunting of elks for their tusks. And according to Teddy Roosevelt and some other historical sources, the reason for that elk poaching and the illegal trade of elk tusks, and the reason that he's contacting Henry Melvin is because members of the Order of Elks at the time numbered hundreds of thousands of members used elk tusks, those ivories, as an emblem on their watch chain. 